New at four, an apparent murder-suicide in Raynham rocking a quiet neighborhood. The Bristol County District Attorney's Office tells us multiple agencies are investigating after finding two people dead overnight a 30 year old woman and a 43 year old man. Now authorities say the two were in a hostile on again, off again relationship. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo is in Raynham where she spoke to neighbors. Sheena. Well, there's one detail in this story that's especially alarming for neighbors. Police say the man apparently broke into the Raynham home before going upstairs to shoot that woman and then turning the gun on himself. He shattered a glass door, forcing his way into this Ruth Ellen Road home before shooting 30 year old Tatiana Tavares in the chest while she was in bed. It's scary. That's what the Bristol County District Attorney's Office says their investigation shows so far in Tuesday morning's apparent murder suicide in Raynham. Uh, but I don't know if anybody's ever, uh, anything like this has ever happened in Raynham. The man involved has been identified as 43 year old Scott Swale of Easton. Police say it appears he shot himself after firing at Tavares. Investigators say the two were in a year long on again, off again relationship that was hostile. The two were found dead by investigators at about 2 o'clock in the morning. It's a quiet, nice suburban neighborhood. Everybody gets along. And uh, yeah, it was uh, to hear what happened was. Shock is the only word I can think of. Neighbors we spoke to say it appears at least two families live in that home. Police say Tavares lived upstairs. For hours, neighbors wondered why their street was blocked off. And as more information from authorities surfaced, so did the fears. The police, I mean, I wasn't that worried about till I heard what happened. And then I was a little freaked out if accidentally he went to the wrong house, something like that. So it's definitely something we need to talk about as a neighborhood. Yeah, and authorities say this is still a very active and ongoing investigation. Reporting in Raynham, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.